Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today we're going to be looking at setting up a US or UK account on your PS Vita TV. As you can see this is a white um, Japanese model, it is not the one that you will be receiving in the West. In the West I believe you'll be getting the black edition um, which only comes out I think on October 14th. If you do have one of these white Japanese models, yes you can log in to your account but as far as I know, you won't be able to access the PSN store yet. So if you want to download games, make sure you download it on a Vita system first, um, and then put the memory card in here. So when you do actually do the swap over, you'll have to deactivate this system because you only have a limited number of activations, then do a system restore, then remember to take your memory card out. If you've got a Japanese card or game with a Japanese account on it, make sure you take it out so it doesn't get formatted and deleted, um, and then log in with your new account. After you've done the login with a new account, then you can put in your um, US or UK memory card and you should be good to go. And the process can be a little tricky if you don't know how to read Japanese, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. And all you need is your PS Vita TV, your DualShock controller, and I think maybe a USB cable because it will forget the connection to your um, controller when it does the system restore. So let's go and do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need to take your PlayStation Vita TV and make sure that you take your memory card out. If it is registered to a Japanese account, you do not want it to be in the machine when it resets, otherwise it will try to format the card. So just to be safe, let's take our Japanese card out and put it down here so that we don't make any mistakes. Then once you've done that, you can go ahead and plug it back in. So let's get the USB, uh, not USB, the HDMI cable, plug that in first and grab our power cable and plug that in as well. PlayStation TV should turn itself on and let's go ahead and go up to the TV. Okay, so the PlayStation TV is now um, booting itself back up. It's going to update the date database because it is not using the memory card anymore, it will use the internal memory. So this is my Japanese account, I have not done any system restores yet. Uh, I am now logged in with my DualShock controller, let's go down to settings. Here. Click on settings. Okay, from the settings menu you need to check up on our PSN and make sure that we've deactivated our system. From this point it will go into Japanese if you've been using a Japanese account to play games. Okay, so this is my Japanese account here, let me just go down until I get to... Let's see, ah, this one here. This option here, you can see there's options for Twitter, Facebook. The next one above it here says privacy settings, and the next one above it is the one that will change system activation settings. So make sure you choose this one here, and then there are three options. There's a game option, a video and music option and a PlayStation Mobile option. And you know, ideally you need to I deactivate all three settings um, before you uh, reset your system. So choose the game option first and choose the second option. This is the one that will deactivate the current um, PlayStation Vita system. So go ahead and press high, which is the option on the right. That means yes, we want to deactivate. Uh, it says it will close all applications, is that okay? Of course, so press yes, which is the one on the right. It says to wait, and... okay. So now we've deactivated the game options. Next we need to go down to video and music, and we need to deactivate our licenses there as well. So again, choose the second option on this screen. And then here it says, are you sure you want to do that? Say yes on the right, and then it's finished, press okay. Last but not least, you want to make sure that you deactivate any PlayStation Mobile accounts as well. So go into PlayStation Mobile, choose the second option again, and press Height, which is the one on the right, which means yes. Uh, are you sure it's going to close all the applications? Say OK. OK, and you are now completely deactivated. All that's left to do now is to go to the top and click Sign Out. This top option here says Sign Out. You want to log out of your PSN account, and we're now logged out. All you need to do now is press cross to go back out of there, and you should be logged out of PSN, and your system is now deactivated. The next step in order to restore the system settings down to factory defaults is to go to Format, then go down to Restore this system, and then just click Restore here on the right. Press Circle to go ahead, and it will say it will close all the applications in use, and say yes. Uh, settings will be restored to their default values, is that okay? Say yes. 
and it says, do you want to format the memory card also? Uh, you can say no, or you can say yes, but um, you may as well just say yes, just get to do it all clean. The only memory card in there is internal memory, but I had nothing on there anyway. Let's just go ahead and say next. Uh, it will <laughs> delete everything on the memory card. Say yes, format. And just confirm like 100 times, just say yes. Format's complete, press OK. System will now restart. And once it has restarted, we can log in with our US or UK accounts. It should be rebooting now. Okay, so this is probably a familiar site. You remember this from when we first set up the PlayStation Vita TV. You'll notice that the PlayStation, uh, the DualShock controller is not connected anymore. We need to set this up. So, make sure you have your USB cable and let's plug this back into the PS Vita TV. Let's go ahead and get our USB cable plugged in to the back, like so and plug the other end into our controller, like this. And it's now collected to our PS TV and charging, which is nice. Okay, so on the main screen, we now just need to go and choose our language. I'm gonna choose English UK because I'm from the UK. Let's choose the screen size by pressing up and down. Okay, now we just need to choose our time zone. I'm in Tokyo, but you could just as well choose UK or um, an American time zone if you liked. From here, we just need to set the date and time. Do you have a Sony Entertainment Network account? Yes, I do. Uh, do you want to use your account on the PlayStation TV system? Say yes. Okay, at this point, it will forget the Wi-Fi system as well, so you will have to connect to the internet again. Okay, it's now connected to my internet, and now you just need to type in your sign-in ID for your US or UK account and your password, which I will go and do now. Okay, we've now logged into my UK account, and now we just wait. The account has billing information on record, please have your credit card ready. So now you have to just double check your credit card information, which we can do now. Okay, you have now completed initial setup. Your PlayStation TV system is ready. Um, it is the Japanese edition of PlayStation TV, so you still have to press circle to go forward. Okay, the system will now reboot, and then we just need to check that our memory card works. Okay, so the PlayStation TV system has now rebooted, and, uh, well, the game that I left in there last is now rebooting, which is Freedom Wars. Um, but yeah, as you can see, completely empty, we've got no other games apart from the Vita card that I left in there. It does work, by the way, I can show you that later. Um, but first things first, we want to check that our memory card works. Now we need to make sure that we switch it off first, so that we can put the memory card in and test that. So go to the red option, power off. Once you've checked that your PlayStation TV is off, you can pick up your actual um, UK or US account card. I'm gonna get my UK card out of my PlayStation Vita and plug it into your PlayStation TV like so. So this is my UK account and this one that I took out earlier was my Japanese card. Now when we turn the system on, we should be able to check and restore the database and everything should be fine. Okay, the first option that's come up, it says the location to save data will be changed from internal memory to movable memory card. That's fine. Let's press OK. Ah, but first we need to make sure that it's registered to the PS Vita TV by pressing... Okay, press the PS button first. Okay, you cannot use the internal memory card at the same time as a memory card. That's fine. Press OK. Update our database. And there you go. We have our... UK account with our UK memory card running on a PlayStation TV. Uh, let's just double check that it works. Okay, you can see I've got a game here which I don't think is on the Japanese store. I have Retro City Rampage here by um, Brian Provinciano. We'll just double check that it works by pressing circle. Ah, go to the home screen and activate the system. So you remember that we didn't have the system activated before. We need to now go to settings and activate the system using our new account. So go to PSN and make sure that you are logged into your UK account or your US account. Um, when it goes here, make sure you press OK. OK, it's now logged in. Now we just need to make sure we go down to system activation. Click and make sure that your game option is activated. So click activate here. Activating complete. So we should be able to play our UK games from our memory card now. Go to Retro City Rampage, press OK, and voila! It is now loading a UK game on a PlayStation TV. PlayStation TV from Japan running my UK account. Uh, by the way, I do not drive like this in real life.
only when I play Retro City Rampage. Because it's funner. Bosh! Bosh! Okay, I do have Borderlands 2 here on my UK account, um, but sadly it does not work. I'll just show you here. It is not supported by PlayStation TV, which is a shame. I don't know if they're going to have an update for Borderlands 2 to make this compatible with PlayStation TV, but in all fairness, if you're going to play Borderlands 2 on a TV, you should probably just play the PlayStation 3 version. It does also play um, Japanese games. This is a card, a cartridge game uh, of Freedom Wars. All right, Freedom Wars, the Japanese cartridge game running on my English account for PlayStation TV. Uh, it does work, just so you know. Okay, last but certainly not least, you might be interested to know whether the PlayStation Store works for the UK or US Store. Um, I'm logged into the UK Store, and it does in fact not work. Um, so when I've tried to log in here, you'll see it comes up with an error. Here, uh, like a CO143514 error. Don't know what it means. This isn't usually a problem on a PlayStation Vita. I usually can log into the UK store from Japan. So not being able to log into the Vita TV store is a little unusual, but I assume it's because it hasn't been released in the UK yet. So let's wait until later in October when it's been released and you sh will be able to confirm that um, later. Okay, so just to recap, if you are going to be setting your PS TV to a US or UK account, um, if you had a Japanese account before, just remember to do a system deactivate first for games, music, and PlayStation Mobile, then do a system restore, and then when you reboot, you should be able to just put a UK card full of games, and it should just work. So that's all you need to know. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and do all that cool stuff.